Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be showing um, this small collection of Power of the Force, Power of the Force 2 all the way to modern figures um, that I just bought. So, K Retro Figures offered me his, all of his newer figures for $35 and I, I took that deal because that's insane. And, well, today I guess I'm just really showing the lot, showing what I got. Um, <laughs> that rhymes. First thing, um, I, I was gonna rhyme again, I was gonna say first thing, probably the worst thing. <laughs> I, I'm accidentally rhyming. Okay, anyway, um, here's it's the Slave Leia, um... What are these called again? We come with the uh, Slave Leia figure from Power of the Force 2. However, he has no idea where his went. So if it comes up, I'll probably pay him another couple bucks for that one. But, I mean... Yeah, I mean, we just got the little thing. Anyway, let's start this out. This one is one of the newer figures. We've got a pretty bad condition, as you can see. Um there a pretty really bad condition um emperor's royal guard but i mean it was in a lot where each figure is about a dollar and 30 cents so i mean it's a good figure now i've also got another newer figure i've got one of the um what are they called? I'm not as into the sequels, you guys. Like, not my favorites. But it's, it's kind of like the First Order Emperor Royal Guard. I don't really remember the name at the moment. Um, but th again, another figure I will take in a lot like this. And one more newer figure, and we'll get into some of the older figures. We've got uh, Darth Vader. It's probably like a Black Series or something because of the joints, look at that. Anyway, he's got a nice cloth cape and stuff. So, another figure I will take. I'm um, getting into some of the older figures. We've got uh, Power of the Force 2 Yak Face. Not the best Yak Face, but I did already have this figure, as well as this figure, but um, still, in a lot like this, I will take. We've also got the cool, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Garandan, Garandan, that's how I pronounce it. Um, we've got the nice Power of the Force figure here. I would just like to know, most figures do not have their accessories because they are would be scattered all across his room, so. It's gonna take a while to find those. And of course he collects other figures, so he's got so many accessories everywhere. Okay, I'm getting all the newer figures over with, I guess, because I'm back. And, oh my gosh. Uh, another figure I have. I don't remember these little guys' names. But I like a nice one to have. I've got this next one I do not actually have. It is a Wicket. Sadly, without any accessories. But still, that is a nice Ewok figure. So... Adding more to the lot, sweet. Now, here we've got Moma Nadim, Nadim, whichever one you pronounce it as, or Hammerhead. I have it, but it's a really awesome figure. This one is a figure, it's also nice. I do like the style of the Power of the Force 2 Reese. Um, definitely not the best Reese, but a nice one. We've also got this one. I mean, I don't really see much point in getting another one because I do have this figure. Um, but I mean, now I, now I have two of this figure. No comments. Uh, this one, 
All right, so if you didn't know, I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this on my channel, but I've bought like, okay, so I found this website that was selling Odie Mandrels with Otoga 222 Pitroids for like a couple bucks each. I bought like 20, no, like 10 of them for 20 bucks. So definitely an awesome deal, but I mean, in this lot, I got another set of them. Here's Odie Mandrel, and then the Otoga 222 Pit Droid without a leg, so. You know, maybe in like a display, you could just have him like a broken version of the droid. I don't know. <laughs> so on the broken side of things, he also got me a Darth Maul without an arm. Apparently the arm is now in the garbage. Broken Darth Maul. And then, I guess it's kind of on the side of broken things as well. He got me a Jar Jar, which this Jar Jar I actually do have. But the reason I was so excited about this one piece is because my Jar Jar broke. And if you see him here, He's missing an ear. Why? I'm rhyming! Ah! Well, two Jar Jars. Uh, and because I also already have the accessory, um, definitely nice replacement figure so I don't have to buy one with the accessory. This one's a cool one. We've got Admiral Akbar. Now, something I think is interesting with this is like, let's look at the waist of. <sighs> that sounds weird. Look. You see, it's a nice, perfect fit with these legs. There's like so many gaps and it's like kind of feels weird when bending it. Um, this next one, I feel like this one's gotta have like fading or something. I don't actually have this figure in my collection, but if you could see, it's pretty blue on the face. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Uh, I know a lot of these figures just sat on a dresser covered in like clay a figure in here another another figure um and then we've got a nice panda baba or walrus man i don't have this version of him so i mean i'll take it i will take it i've got i do have this figure um but the version i have is of course unopened so i mean an opened version. It does look a little rusty. It could just be the design, though. Um, so. Nice 2-1-B. I've got C-3PO here. But very loose joints. Also, it can, like, bob out. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if... I don't think this is their... This could be the removable in C-3PO. He might, I don't, I really have no idea. I might have just broken a C-3PO. Chewbacca, a newer Chewbacca, um, which I think I am going to put this figure in a Jabba's Palace diorama uh, with Slave Leia. No, not Slave Leia. Bausch, wow. <laughs> nice figure. You've got here two Ugnaughts. Sadly, don't have their accessories, although they're pretty cool. Um, I've actually really wanted these figures. I don't know. I just think they are very neat. This one's head is a little loose. Um, but I mean, that is nice to add to the lot. Um, here we've got the Tusken Raider child, as well as Tusken Raider parent, I guess, which you can ride in the back here. That is definitely a nice one. Although it should come with like a uh, weapon or something, but I am not going to complain. This is really nice. We are down to the last couple figures. We've got Power of the Force 2 Bib Fortuna, which is not the best Bib Fortuna figure, but Hey. And then we've got the Max Rebo Band. 
which I will show off slowly. We've got the, um, the thing with this one is the, the name is so long that I forget it. I'll, I'll put the name on screen, but, and then of course it does not have the accessory. We've got the Barquin Dan, which also does not have the accessory. Then we've got the originals. We've got size noodles, except of course this is the Power of the Force 2 version, so it doesn't have, it's like the newer size noodles, which I do prefer the older size noodles, but I mean, a nice one, I guess. We've got Complete Droopy here. Complete Droopy McCool, which of course I already had, but nice. And then we've got Max Rebo, which he, I don't know where he put his, like, piano keyboard thing, but he does not have it. Um, I do have my Max Rebo here, so this is what it would look like, uh, complete. So. And also, the last one in, like, this little band series was Jaw Yelza. Which I don't know where his dry house is, but here's mine. Well, I'm, I guess these are mine now. <laughs> of course, there's other band members like Rapper Toonie, uh, the dancers, and then the drummers. But I don't have those ones. He didn't have those ones. But hey, this is kind of the lot he I bought from him. Uh, if you guys want to see more collection pickup videos, then like, subscribe, check out KR Retro Figures channel, because I really did, I really did get a good deal on these. And then, ch I, check out my other, you know what, watch whatever. <laughs> see you guys in the next one. Bye.